So here we have uh, just kind of a brush pile, some uh, bonfire remains, and um, I guess you could generally characterize this as disturbed ground. Um, and right here in the disturbed ground, you have two different brassicas living right next to each other. The yellow flower, you have um, yellow rocket. And uh, with a white flower, you have uh, garlic mustard. Um, both fairly invasive plants. Uh, a lot of people see them as nuisances, especially this guy, the garlic mustard, because it grows everywhere and it will uh, kind of take over. Um, I believe both of these were brought to uh, the New World by Europeans um, to address uh, nutritional and vitamin C deficiencies, that kind of thing. Um, so the good thing is that they are both highly edible. Um, they're both biennial plants, um, which means that they live for two years, their life cycles for two years. The first year they uh, stay kind of short and squat to the ground um, and they don't flower. I don't really see any first year plants here. And it's the second year when they send up the flower stalks and then they produce their seed pods and then they, uh, you know, the plant subsequently dies. So these are all second year um, garlic mustard and yellow rocket plants. Um, the leaves, as you can see, some of them are actually pretty sizable. They're still edible, but um, they have a stronger taste and they're a little bit tougher. Um, same thing with the garlic mustard. Now, the garlic mustard, there's slight differences in their taste. The garlic mustard obviously tastes more garlicky. And uh, of note, um, there's reports that that uh, the garlic mustard has slightly higher levels of cyanide than, um, than other brassicas. Actually, more than slightly higher levels. I believe it's uh, quite a bit higher. But um, still not high enough to really cause problems when eaten in reasonable amounts. So reasonable amount, I guess that you know, somewhat open to interpretation, but uh, I've uh, I've definitely put it in soups and stuff like that in omelets and I've never had any problem with it. So anyway, getting back to uh, second year plants, I think in my opinion their, their greatest utility is, uh, is in the buds. The leaves are a little bit more bitter than I'd like and the flowers don't really have the greatest taste even though it's not bad, but what I like are these little buds, these little flower buds you can kind of just snap them right off and eat them or put them in an omelet or uh, any number of things you might want to do. Now um, the yellow rocket, the buds taste kind of like broccoli um, because it is closely related to broccoli so they taste kind of like broccoli but they have a little bit more uh, a little bit more of a peppery kick and uh, the garlic mustard um, also peppery kick but it tastes uh, it tastes much more garlicky. Um, when you have a garlic mustard plant this far along, you can kind of see if you can snap, if, if, if the uh, stems snap. And if they're still fairly tender and you can snap them, then you can still eat them. And they actually taste pretty good. So uh, two greens that uh, if, you live in the, uh, if you live in the northeastern United States, these are two greens that very well likely grow in your yard for free. You're probably more likely than not annoyed by them versus happy to see them, but uh, a good source of uh, a good source of nutrition um, that uh, is pretty much all around you that you know a lot of people probably just don't appreciate. So anyway, that is my two cents on foraging in uh, northeastern United States in early June.